We have a couple of big stories that we're following out of Fremont this morning. We'll have the latest on what the community there is doing to try and put a stop to the coronavirus before it becomes a community outbreak. But first, we're joined live by Courtney Johns as we continue to look back on the floods of 2019. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning, Maya. Yeah, I'm live at the Fremont Fire Department right now, and it's amazing how calm it is right now compared to what people were probably dealing with about a year ago today. When the flood level started to drop, organizations like FEMA went away, and many people in the community were left saying, what's next? Where do I go next from here? And as Kent Lutzen reports, in the aftermath, people in Valley came together. And Kent, it sounds like just an incredible story about what the community can do when unfortunately something tragic like this happens. That's right, Courtney. Over the last year, the sense of community spread all across Douglas County and, of course, Valley. Now, Nebraska is located, Valley, Nebraska is located just about 20 minutes downstream of Fremont. It's a small town that is helping others in a big way. Seven and a half months later, and and still have quite a ways to go yet. Pastor Carl Ratcliffe, along with many flood survivors, are still recovering from last year's floods. And so we got eight inches of sewage all throughout this whole building. Homes, businesses, and churches destroyed. Resident Jen Johnson says many were left with a place they no longer recognized. The water came in through our basement doors. It knocked over our stairs. There was stuff floating everywhere, our washer, dryer, um, my whole entire office for my business. It was just floating everywhere in feet of water. According to Pastor Radcliffe, when the floodwaters dropped, flood survivors were searching for answers, turning towards their neighbors during this emotional time. That's what, that's what people do when they care about others and so all we did was provide a building for that to happen. For the next six weeks, members of the community gathered to start finding resources, sharing supplies and creating a community effort to rebuild. It was neighbors helping neighbors, as Stephanie White put it, and she wanted to take that power and spread it across Douglas County. So she started a Facebook group, the Douglas County Community Emergency and Natural Disaster Recovery Group. They'll say, hey, did you see what the long-term recovery group posted and then someone will come in the door and say my friend referred me via your Facebook page. Nearly a year since the flooding and this group continues to connect people with resources via social media. White, Johnson, Pastor Radcliffe along with a few others have now taken what they've learned and started a nonprofit in downtown Valley. It's kind of got a little nudging from God and was like Okay, you're really doing this, Jen. I was like, all right, let's go with it. Not only is this group still helping flood survivors with taxes, animal rescues, and donations, but they are planning for any future natural disaster as well. If there's a tornado next week, that's where we'll be there to help. We don't want that to happen, but we're going to be around to help people uh, recover the best, to the best of our abilities. The recovery group is run on volunteers and donations to find out how you can help. Give their Facebook page a follow. Courtney, that's all I got for you. Kent, how long have they been in their new downtown building? Oh, great question. So they have been in their new downtown building since January, and they are kind of just slowly moving into that space, and hopefully they can kind of get the donations they need. They're going to be in that building for at least the next year. They kind of solidified that for the next year. I have a feeling they will get those donations. Some really incredible people here in Nebraska. Thank you so much, Kent.